You are listening to Reels Movie Podcast. I am your host, Z. And before I get into this review, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, hit that bell for notifications, and you'll never miss a future episode. The newest Shaft movie came out in theaters on Friday. You'll be able to hear that review tomorrow, but today we're talking about 2000's Shaft. A New York City police detective, John Schaff, nephew of the original 1970s detective, goes on a personal mission to make sure that the son of a real estate tycoon is brought to justice after a racially motivated murder. Now, some movie characters are made specifically to fit an actor's personality, or an actor's personality fits that role, and it's like a wonderful combination. Samuel Jackson as Shaft is absolutely the most perfect choice for an actor as you can get. Shaft is pretty much Samuel Jackson to a T. Realistically, Jackson didn't have to do much as Shaft because Shaft's personality matches Jackson. Jackson brings his constant swearing, being a badass, smooth, the cockiness. Honestly, Jackson was okay in this role. He did what he had to do, but he wasn't doing anything special. He did have some competition, though, coming from two supporting actors, and that's Christian Bale and Jeffrey Wright. Bale was very intimidating as a psychotic racist that can hold his own in a fight. And honestly, I saw a lot of his character from Patrick Bateman from his role in American Psycho. But no one really could outperform Jeffrey Wright here. He was crazy, hilarious, and insanely intimidating. He was just a crazy motherfucker. He really was. Wright plays Peoples, the Dominican drug lord, and Wright was very over the top with his performance, but he wasn't too over the top that was stupid funny. I mean, just the way he said things, like he's talking to two detectives that he's, you know, that he's got working for him about him, about the Christian Bale's character being Rob, and he's just, how he just says stuff it's just absolutely funny that you have this badass villain just kind of being honest and being funny at the same time. It's just great. This movie is honestly worth seeing just to see Wright's performance. And I have to say, Buster Rhymes is also in this movie. And his entire character is he just bitches throughout the entire movie. He bitches about doing stuff for Shaft or his car getting shot up. His house getting chopped up. He That's his character. It just bitches the entire time. The story is really as simple as you can get. Shaft makes his personal mission to make Christian Bale's character, Walter Wade Jr., go to jail for his killing of a young black man. You do see Shaft doing everything possible to get Wade. Wade enlists help from Peoples to kill a witness, played by Tony Collette, who... Honestly, she showed no emotion at all. I mean, she has like, she tears up a bit, but when she's being held by peoples at the end and she's literally getting stabbed, like kind of like pricked in the throat, she literally shows zero emotion. Like she's like already dead inside. I thought it was really weird that that happened. Then things to start to go really crazy and pretty much off the wall with people being turncoats everywhere. One of people's workers works with Shaft, and he gets killed when Peoples finds out. Two de- two detectives are hired by Peoples to find the witness that they're trying to kill and trying to get the Shaft. All of this felt really forced and just gave Shaft more obstacles to overcome to win the battle. That's seriously all it was. It was just to make Shaft and his team look better. And there's like no moments in this movie that really stands out besides Wright's performance. The movie's very forgettable. Like, you watch a movie, you're going to, you know, a moment is going to stick with you. That's what this movie does not have. It doesn't have any of those moments that sticks with you. That's why I say it's a forgettable movie. You just remember Wright's performance, and then that's it. Well, it's, a, it's honestly, it's a shame because Jackson does his persona is Shaft and he does a decent job as Shaft. It's just the script wasn't that great. Uh, Direction was good. John Singleton did a really good job directing. It's just Samuel Jackson didn't 
go out of his comfort zone in this role. And that's why I think it's a real shame. I'm going to give 2000 Shaft a C. Thank you for listening to this episode of Reels Movie Podcast. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. And you're never going to miss any future episodes. I'll see you later.